so those are the conversations but we want to 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 leverage or to anchor our conversations around sustainability because mm. that's the that's the in thing mm. sustainability yeah. of both the environment the environment the the cultures respecting cultures mm. um using the local crops mm. encouraging the local production mm. so but these are things i'm learning also mm. Mm. now that you said about development uh, mm. work mm. i'm basically back to development work mm. but now mm. from a private sector mm. angle. angle because mm. we are we are having se- several campaigns mm-hmm. that's, that's that will launch soon mm. one is a conscious traveler right so how do you travel consciously mm. yeah these things of throwing litter on the road mm. Um, if you do you really need to use three cars to go to the same place and you're three people mm. um, so breaking down those COP26 conversations to how do you as a person how does it relate to you mm. there'll be another one on um, green destinations mm-hmm. uh, but using the traveler to say whether mm. that destination because mm. there's a lot of green washing totally green. yeah whether that destination that says they are practicing um, recyclable or solar energy is it true mm. Yeah so that we have people putting in information about their destinations that are factual mm. yeah mm. or when they say they are supporting a community and they've put one lady there to sell beaded work mm. and saying now they're giving back to the community mm. that's happening a lot mm. Mm. so we want White to washing. do that campo- mm. yeah mm. so there now it's called greenwashing mm. greenwashing yeah you mm. just want to to check mm, a box uh, mm. then there is one for main disability mainstreaming mm-hmm. in our destinations in mm. fact this came about by one of our members she's mm. called Odumbe Kote mm-hmm. he's blind mm. but he got blind as an adult mm. and he travels mm. also and is um, so he offered mm. and he has an autistic child mm. so he offered uh, a trip to mm. a family that has an autistic child to mm. just go and get a break a mm. break Mm. and just fully paid and mm. i'm telling you guys chipped in like guys are saying how much can we contribute where can we contribute mm. so but we couldn't find a destination that but has a caregiver that can take care of an autistic, autistic child. child yeah eventually she's gone to one of the uh, places so she's supposed to give it back on the kind of service but we realize there's a lot of sensitization that needs to happen a uh, disability friendly infrastructure or mm. like our SGR is not disability friendly at all currently you can get yeah they've into... switched off the lifts so you can imagine if you have a wheelchair Whoa. how do you get into mm. the station mm. um so that is one on just disability mainstreaming mm. and i think it's a big one because we don't think we don't think about even yeah. the the deaf those are very very important. and there are some fantastic uh, restaurants that are doing like i think pale in Lavington it only employs deaf waiters mm. um, I saw the other day so now I restaurant I forget that employs uh, uh, this is it dyslexic or neuro some neuro diverse condition mm. yeah so mm. there are people now embracing very very consciously as, about that yeah so that's mm. what we want to highlight mm. and, and say the travel mm. and tour industry needs to embrace that I love that a lot mm. because those are and the more they are embraced yeah the more these conversations and these kinds of um issues are embraced in yeah. society yeah. the more awareness is created mm. and the more um you know with awareness creation then a lot a lot a lot gets you yes. know m- gets progressive exactly yeah. exactly mm. and then there is uh, there's the one last one on peace tourism so in election mm. period mm. And this one, I need to do it very fast. So if you get partners, please mm. let me know. Mm. Mm. Because people absorb all the nonsense that some politicians peddle. Mm-hmm. Because you've never traveled mm. to that place. So they, yeah. they say, people from that side, they do this and that. Mm. Mm. Yeah. But until you've traveled, you will swallow all the that. nonsense. Yeah. Mm. So we, we, we want to use travel as a instrument of peace. Mm just from the fact that your mind gets opened up mm. and you're able to embrace diversity go and see for yourself yes mm. go and see whether all lures come from kisum because mm. that's the assumption we make mm. uh, go and see whether costarians really mm. uh, eat rats mm. 
or uh, turkanas it's all dry mm. and yet there are beaches in lake turkana mm. or kambazi dogs because there is no food yes okay, yes and they are doing so yeah. such great farming yeah. there so that that those Help pictures destroy stereotypes mm. yeah mm. but also for you to have travel mm. there needs to be peace so yeah, it's exactly. a it's an it's a chicken and egg situation mm. Um, so that's a campaign that we're doing with KEPSA mm. called Mkenya Daima. Mm. We are leveraging on the Mkenya Daima campaign, which mm. usually comes every election year. Mm. Um, looking at that, and mm. then yeah, so we have. Oh yeah, then I've signed an MOU. In fact, I've seen the newsletters come out. The press release has come out with National Museums of Kenya. Mm -hmm. I love museums. I love history mm. and anthropology. Maybe I should have just started, studied mm -hmm. that. And um, I feel everywhere I go, I have to take my kids to the local museum. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of work the museums are doing, but mm. it's not getting told. Mm. But also there's a lot of work they need to do mm. to get their stories out and also to improve their, their infrastructure. Mm. So um, we are making museums sexy again. Mm. And uh, <laughs> is that the hashtag? No. <laughs> Make museums Before they sexy tell me, again. This is government. <laughs> we don't use that terminology. <laughs> no, we have something called our future in the past. Uh -huh. That's our tagline. Oh, that's really cool. Yes, and that's I was really appointed cool. the. Patron. Why didn't I think about that? Imagine. Ah, have, <laughs> this these stories are really about yeah. our futures in the past. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So I was appointed the patron of Kariandusi. Do you even know where Kariandusi is? Who is that? You need to learn about diatomite in geography. I, yeah, yeah, Those yeah, white, yeah, yeah. white, uh, white, I, white I stones. I need a refund. I it need is a after, refund. after Kikope. That's because when guys get to Naivasha, yeah. the they, next stop is Nakuru. Yeah. But now just after Kikope, mm -hmm. on your right, you'll see Kariandusi. Now you'll see that. That's an, in fact, now, now I'll be conscious about it. This week we are putting up a very big signage oh. uh, for them. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a prehistoric site. Mm -hmm. Uh, where early man, you know, tools used by early man, hand mm. axes at, at, at least were found. Mm. So we have the part of the Facebook grant, you have to put it into a project. Mm. So that's our project with the museum mm. to refurbish it now that I'm a patron there. Mm. But we also have a grant that we are running where we want to use the local community, mm -hmm. especially uh, former sex workers. Mm. To turn them into tour guides, right? Community tour guides, mm. um, and linking that up with um, mm. the museum and the sites around it. Mm. So um, we believe there's a lot coming. There's a lot of tech work that you're going to do also. So I'm passionate about that. No, oh, this is really awesome. Yeah. This yeah. and I can see why Wanderlust is uh, like latching onto you, and yes. you're latching onto it quite yeah. well because then it has. All these many avenues and and then it is a lot of things that you have done coming together exactly in yeah. fact i was laughing because the things i used to run away from yeah. especially from the ngo work theories of change uh MOUs. those mal things yeah. do you yeah. want yeah. I, now i have to do that myself because it's a team of one yeah and it was very interesting when i was doing my proposal for facebook yeah i found it easy in fact i think i was the best i was rated the best mm. out of the cohort mm. Because it's things I've done in the NGO work. Mm. The same NGO that I didn't want to work mm. with. Mm. And now it's coming together. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Uh, because it's the same concepts, the same principles yeah. of yeah. how do you, you start with the end in mind, mm. then work backward, mm. then break it down to yeah. activities. Yeah. And what's the social impact? Exactly. Yeah. How do exactly. you measure it? Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, to, mm. we've gone back full circle. Mm.